Welcome to the Audacious Living Podcast, hosted by my man, Audley Stevenson, the odd man. He'll unpack wisdom and insights from a cross-section of top quality performers in business, media, sports, entertainment, and lifestyle to uncover key elements to help you live your best audacious life ever. So without further ado, here is The Odd Man. Suzanne, we're here. How are you? Hey, I'm divine. I can see that. Absolutely. It's great to have you here. It's great to talk to you and catch up. Uh, you've got a brand new project, which which is interesting because this is the direction that you're going in terms of children's books. And you look at your history, and, and it's actually fascinating because when you look at all of your work and all that you've done, this is a new niche for you, isn't it? Well, it's new and old because I started being, you know, the best babysitter in the <laughs> town of Athabasca, north of Edmonton, where it's like minus 60. That's where we decided to land. Got you. The tropical paradise of Jamaica. Of course. One <laughs> yard. <You know>? so, <laughs> it, it was not a popular place for anyone from the diaspora of Africa. Of <laughs> I think of I got called the N-word every day of my life there. Yeah. But I was the best babysitter. Okay. I was kind of, you know, Mary Poppins and Cat in the Hat. Right. Yeah. A bit of Nancy all rolled in there, just using using endless creativity to, to motivate kids to to shift. Gotcha. You know what I mean? Gotcha. And it's, it's, so, it's, it's what's really interesting about that at the time, I don't know if you're necessarily thinking about this as a motivation tool, you're just reading stories. Well, I was, uh, uh, you mean when I was babysitting? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no, I was like, you know, you wouldn't pick the TV if you had me. Gotcha. I could come up with 52 million games in a second. <laughs> and I could, I could use humor to get you out of any bad mood and maybe some just, you know, creative techniques. Sure, sure. <laughs> okay, okay. So the, let's let's talk about the case of the girl who had to be perfectly, perfectly perfect. perfect. Like, yes, yeah. I am so excited because this is a collaboration uh -huh. with, I don't know, I would say the greatest Canadian on the planet, the Honorable Dr. Jean Augustine, whoop, whoop, first Black woman yep. to be a member of Parliament, a first in so many things, such an inspiration. Her life just, yep. you know, she shows us what it is to be a true Canadian. I mean, we're all about peaceful negotiation, reconciliation, yep. vanquish intolerance, you know, and find a way to celebrate difference and and learn something new every day. And 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 sometimes this is what I love about the book. Mm -hmm. You know, one character, she was scared of swimming. Okay. When she's eight, she's now 16. Well, because she's never dealt with it, yep. now there's anger and now she actually has a fear right. of learning. Is mm. a fear of learning. So all these different characters are dealing with facing fears and facing and the girl who had to be perfectly perfect. Uh -huh. You know what what was what got a hold of her to to you know to to she just got under the anxiety of I yes. if I'm not perfect then nobody will love me and nobody will be proud of me and and she goes on a journey. Yes. Because in every book in the Miss Bonita series uh there's a story within the story and the the toys come alive. Right. You know, you got wow. Doobie yeah. Bear, and he, Doobie Bear is just, oh my, you fell in love with Doobie Bear. <laughs> Miss Bonita, the main character, you know, she found him in a gutter and she sewed him back together and he's, you know, but you're just in love with Doobie Bear. But Doobie Bear kind of always, whenever he hears the kid's problem, he's like, oh no, she'll never solve it. She's right. gonna, you know. And then there's Comfy who just hugs. Of course. Like a, comfort, hug. a, little, a little blanket. And then there's Baba who's like the wise doll. Mm -hmm. and invites Jean to try new things. Mm. You know, built into these books are these beautiful tools. You know, share your story, try new things, find yep. creative solutions. But, but the whole thing, yeah, like Miss Bonita and Friends is an exciting and it's a magical children's series of books, yep. television, web series, musical 
shows, Zoom shows now, yep. you know, musical feature films where characters go on an adventures to help children solve their problems all around the world. And this, you know, promotes emotional intelligence and demonstrates to children that they have the power to choose. They can creatively problem solve. They can contribute to their own life journey yep. and, and influence their circumstances. That, so, you know- All of those things, all of those things are such important and incredible skills that, that adults are learning. So the thing yeah. that, yeah, that we're teaching kids at a young age is phenomenal. And so that's why it's so great to do this collaboration inspired by the Honorable Dr. Jean Augustine's life. Yes. Because, you know, in, two, in, in 2014, she created the Center of Empowerment for Young Women. Okay. And, and, all, and all of those things are being taught. The girls can go there and they can, you know, make soap. They can learn, yes. you know, uh, to do, do they have a beautiful chef's kitchen? There's, a, you know, they can learn African dancing. Yep. But you know, it's it's all about empowerment. Hundred percent. So, so you know, uh, the, the very very first episode of this podcast, the Honorable Jean Augustine was our guest, and oh. talked about uh, her he? life's journey, her legacy. Um, you know, uh, and, he and, tells stories about getting into the House of Commons, the first black woman. And the fact that there were no breadcrumbs left for her, and she had to be the one to leave those breadcrumbs for others. She left. Oh, you oh. just gave me a chill when you said no breadcrumbs. Yeah. She laid out those breadcrumbs. She, Absolutely. Absolutely. You know, I, and and um, and and I love her stories, and that's how this whole collaboration happened. I and mean, she talks about how her grandmother would say, "Yes, you can." Yeah, yeah. She came from an era where, you know, the money from a family would be going to the boys, yes. trying to get them to Oxford and further their education. Right. Right. It wasn't really a path right. for girls, you know. Yeah. And no, so, you're right. You're right. Yeah. So, so, so I want to go back. How, how did this collaboration come to be? Uh, because it's a unique one, and there's all, and you're you've got a co-author as well. So. Uh, yes, yes uh, which is so thrilling. I mean, this book series, the brand itself is created by a brilliant, one of you, my dearest friend, she's a soul sister, Lisa Lelouz, you know, and she's a wonderful, you know, just a brilliant social worker. And it all, I mean, like me, when she was in daycare, she just found creative ways to help kids with big problems, you know, and she developed those characters from there. And, um, and it just grew from her beautiful heart. She's such a brilliant, you know, one of these people, she comes in the room and, and someone goes, well, who turned the lights on? Cause she is just a light. You know what I mean? And that's what these women are. So it's so exciting. I'm I mean, kind of like you. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. So, and I have, always uh, loved Jean and I am just, you know, so I, I wrote the foreword in, in, in her honor and, you know, when, and, and we talked to her about stories from her past and the book doesn't, you know, it does, if you know Grenada, you can see, oh, that's a coastline of Grenada, but it's, it's a fantasy, right? right? I mean, there's a character who's so tall, he can pick a coconut and he's so strong, he can break it. Right, but but all the kids tease him at one point because he won't come into the sea. And he's like, well, I'm not scared of the water. The sea is scared of me. But then, you know, when Jean, the character Jean learns her lesson, she right away passes it to him and gets him to talk about the problem. Right. And, and joins him. And saying, "Hey, I'm gonna let's go to the underwater park, but we'll wear a life jacket, and I'll be I'll be your buddy in that, you know." And it's you you even as an adult, you read the book and, and you, you really you tear up oh, wow. because it just has such a heart message when when the grandmother finally, you know, talks to this to the little girl and says, "I don't love you for what you do. I love you Amazing. because you're you." Amazing. I love yeah. the messaging. I love 
I love you know, it. it's so, so, and so, so it goes, it goes to the heart of everyone because we all have to learn to grow mm -hmm. and expand in our, um, in our awareness of, of, of who we are. I'm saying when you read the book, even as an adult, and this, you know, the hope is that this book could be in the curriculum of every school, because when you see black kids and you see all the different hairdos, doesn't that do something? Yeah, sure it does. I mean, you know what I mean? It's important. My mother was passionate about that. My mother, and yep. here's a woman who's, you know, her first thesis was the vicissitudes of Trilopian fame about Anthony Trollope in the 17th century playwright and his, you know, his, he was in and out of popularity. And right. her second thesis for her, her master's in education was, wait a second, we can have children not seeing themselves in the literature they read. Absolutely. It will affect their self-esteem. She praised 120 African and Caribbean authors and said, these 11, that's a must for the high school curriculum of Canada. Right. I don't know if they really listened to her, but it's still an important message. Sure. So I would like to have that book in every school. Yeah. But because it's so multicultural and in, in such a, just a normalized way, you know what I mean? Not making not making an, an issue about it. So that's another reason um, that I love this book. Tell me how many different, I know you touched on a few themes. How many different themes are we talking about here? That, in, in, in this one book? Yeah. In this book, the case of the girl who had to be perfectly perfect. Yes. So it's dealing with fear, fear and how it shows up. You know, there's someone who has a fear of swimming yep. and a fear of learning. Um, and then just uh, a fear that I won't be loved unless I do, wow. uh, unless I'm perfect. So, you know, I think a lot of people have that little tyranny of perfectionism, Absolutely. which becomes a negative voice yes. where you're always telling yourself, I'm not good enough or in order to get love, I got to do something I got to do instead of knowing and understanding who we are and that... Uh, Oh, wow. You know, there's a genius in every child. And, and that's our job. That's our job as, as parents and, 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 and leaders and, and, and uh, community inspirers. It's our job to recognize the genius of the child and be a bridge, you know, for them to contribute that to the world. And so I, I think, so that's the core theme. And all of those themes are so much in line with who, yes. who Jean Augustine is. I, I don't think you could you could identify a, a better individual to, to sort of lead this charge because what it really does, it encapsulates her and it embodies it in the, in the book itself, which is just amazing, amazing. Yeah, and, and though it's not, like I say, it's not, it's inspired by, yes. right? And, and yet the, the back of the book, um, you know, so the forward is dedicated to her. And then at the back of the book, we do a, you know, very short four or six year old biography of Jean, just so they can know that. And so that every Canadian student needs to know who the Honorable Dr. Jean Augustine is. Yes, yes. It will enrich their lives. And so that's why I want this book in every school. I hear it. No, I hear you. I don't. I, you know what I mean? I, I, yeah, you can bring it up if you have it. Or are you going to bring it up? Yeah. At some point. Okay. But I, what, what, what I was going to say, what I was going to say as well, is, you know, even the theme of fear. I mean, you know, you have, you have adults. Because if, if you think about how, how, how many issues that adult, that, you know, children carry into the adult world lives yeah. that were unresolved. And, that, and, and stay with them. And everything goes back to their childhood oftentimes. Mm -hmm. so if you can address those issues at an early age and embrace fear and, and attack it head on and not run away or shy from it, you know, we're now creating powerful individuals. Right, because yeah, then we're getting the lessons and, and blessings from these supposed challenges. They're no longer stumbling blocks, they're stepping stones. You know, it's, how, it's all in how you view and, and navigate and know, ultimately, if you could, the, the kernel is, 
if you can know this is what I want all black people to know. It's not happening to me. You don't say, why did this happen to me? You say, how is this happening for me? That's a huge switch, you know, but all our books, I mean, the foundation of Miss Benita and Friends is empowerment, accountability, compassion, and courage, right? Again, someone describing Jean could... <laughs> Could you could use that, right? Amazing. So, yeah. How, how how did she respond when you first brought the idea? What was her initial reaction? Well, you know, the very first thing was, well, I'm gonna have to see. <laughs> you know what I mean? She see she's she's got a quality control thing, like and and you know, and you, there better be some, you know, yep. the right colors in the book, and <laughs> you know what I mean, right? And the, the representation, so. Yep. I'm telling you, when I was researching, I, I, I want to go to Grenada so bad. There's so many incredible things. You know, they have the best chocolate in the entire planet okay. because they have volcanic soil. Oh, yeah, yeah, the things are just, and they have, they just have unique things that no other island has. You know, it's, it's uh, and of course the, the topography and the, it's, sure beautiful place for sure for sure like i say it's just you, you know it flavored us we let it flavor us you know yep, yep. Um, yeah i think i think it's a book every every everyone should have yeah the, the other thing now the girl who had to be perfectly perfect, perfect. the girl mm -hmm. had to be perfectly perfect the, the, the other piece about this i want to throw before yeah. we, before we before we get out of here is the whole idea of representation because that is i know you touched on it before but again that is a really, really important theme for young people to see themselves or see someone that looks like them uh, in, in whether it's the books they read or the shows they watch are so, so important for their own overall development. Absolutely. Like I say, it was, a, it was a huge passion of my mom who was one of these teachers like to serve with love. She touched and inspired so many people, you know, and, 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 um, I don't know, I, I've got her spirit too, you know, because we could just uh, fall in love with someone in five seconds and whatever I can do, whatever I have that can help you be the best you, I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give it to you. I'm just, you know, yep. just ready to serve all life because that's what we're here for. Absolutely. You, you hit the nail right on the head, Suzanne. <laughs> you know, yeah. <laughs> so, yeah. so. For, for listeners who are looking to, to, to connect or get a book, where, where can okay. they go? Where do we send them? What do we... What, what okay, do they here's do? where you go. You, first of all, go on YouTube and put Miss Bonita and Friends. Or just... And, and Bonita is B-O-N-I-T-A. MissBonitaandFriends.com. That takes you to our website. If you go on YouTube, Miss Bonita and Friends YouTube channel, you can watch for free episodes. And, and they were they were COVID inspired to help kids with tools and techniques. The very first episode, you know, is about um, my grandpa's in the hospital with the with the virus and every, you know, and and you know, our our uh, our bad guy in our in our series, you know, the bad king, he puts when when people start finding ways to deal with that. He puts a spell of fear on everybody. Mm. So you see this fog of fear, and you see how people react when this fog hits them. Some yep. people fall asleep. Some people da -da -da -da, hide under the table, you know. And the author of the series, Lisa, she's in it too, right? She's so scared she can't even pick up her pen. So you know what I mean. And and then you know, my character who is May May the Mystique invites everybody yep. she's like the eternal being who we really are soul we're not the physical body we're not the emotions we're not the mind right. and you know and she says well you guys all we have to do is laugh for no reason and that is how you break the spell of fear right uh -huh. and so she starts laughing like a hyena <laughs> or my grandmother would say laughing like a viriga <laughs> <laughs> and so the audience is participating. Right. 
they're the kids are watching and they know they, yeah like the never-ending story what they do influences yes. what happens in in this world of miss benita and friends right right that's so amazing and we yeah. should get, get give your, your co-author a shout out as well because lisa, oh lisa laluz she is the real author she is yeah, I did, I did have, it all. I just got the honor. Yeah, no, I did check I this out. I was really impressed. You know, all the all the all the other books she's written, the whole brand, it's all her vision. I I just got humbly included, you know. Um because uh yeah, I that I think that's part of what I do is is um strategic partnerships. Yeah. You know, and I brought I brought her gene, and it's it was just like a match yep. made in yep. heaven, right? Yep. The way all three have come together to collaborate on something just so powerful and magical. Yes, and just yeah, we had so much fun doing a Zoom show for for uh, uh, the Jean Augustine Center of Empowerment for Young Women. Yep. So yes. thank you so much for doing this. This is great. Thank you. Yeah, I love you're the welcome. Project. I'm so excited about the books. Uh, I think it's it's uh, again. The, the, the case of the girl who had to be perfectly perfectly perfect. perfect. That's there awesome. you go. You can see the cover, and you can hear from some kids, you know what they experience with the Miss Benita and Friends series. Awesome, awesome. Well, thank you, Suzanne, for the time today. Great talk. Yes. Okay, I would love to stay in touch. Will do. <laughs> okay. You've been listening to the Audacious Living Podcast, hosted by Audley Stevenson. If you enjoyed what you heard, be sure to like, subscribe, and share. Until next time, be audacious.